We are live here at the LA Fit Expo 2020. How exciting. It is packed in here. And I'm with one of my all-time favorite people, Miss Oksana Grishina, four-time Olympia champion in fitness. And here she is. Hi, Oksana. Hi. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, it's wonderful today. It's packed. It is. And yeah, it's one of my favorite expo, fit expo because it's yeah. in Los Angeles. It's where I live, and it's yeah. just amazing. Yeah, it's been, and I'm so happy to see you. I know it's always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> I know Oksana, you've motivated me and inspired me so much, climbing up the ladder in the fitness industry. But you know, most of all, just seeing your tenacity and your will and your determination. I watch you practice and practice and practice, and the diligence and the time that you put into it is so extraordinary that I have not seen that caliber in an athlete in my entire life and being in the health and wellness industry for almost three decades now. I've never seen anything like it and your level of discipline is like no other. I have so much respect for you and admiration and I know that I'm not the only one that has these words about you. I know there's so many people out there that feel the same way. So thank you for what you apply and how much you apply to the sport and the industry. Thank you so much. I appreciate every word you said and I appreciate support of, from all my fans. I love you guys so much and I love what I do and I love to share my my workouts, my knowledge, my love with you online. If you follow me, you can see that. And that's what I love to do. And I think, um, yeah, fitness can be so different. There are so many new brands. And even here, there are so many new uh, brands of fitness which you can try and which you may be the best at, you know. So, yeah, it's my life. And, yeah, I, I live my dreams. <laughs> Absolutely do, and the thing about it is it's so infectious, and I know that everybody loves this infectious spirit because we can learn from it, and what I love about it is how you have adapted to the entrepreneurial world as well, and I know, you know, bringing out the pole classic to the Olympia, which is, I mean, I mean, unheard of. To bring that to the Olympia was just absolutely connect incredible and phenomenal. And watching it grow and you succeed over the last years and to be able to still have that level of discipline to your craft and your art and still training. And I know there's some big things uh, in the works right now. So you've been not competing for a couple years now. You focused on the Oksana Krishina Pole Classic, which is a huge hit and been super successful. So congratulations to that. So what's going on? Are you passing the torch to somebody to take that? Because the word on the street is that you're getting back in there and you're about to compete again. Am I right? Well, yes. Uh, of course, it will be impossible for me to compete and be so focused on my preparation and at the same time promote pole fitness. So we've been talking about that with promoter of Olympia, Dan Solomon, and uh, we found a way. So I have a great team, and Jennifer Henry, she was all the, all the shows with me, and she knows how to do things. So of course I'll be behind the scene, but she's going to run the show for me, and I know she's going to do an amazing job, and we got so much, so many support because people know I'm going to compete and they love pole fitness. They want this show to be success. So, and uh, yeah, if I will compete on Friday, our show is going to be on Saturday. So okay. I can support my girls and I can support the show and I can come and just watch incredible competitors, incredible skills of this amazing, amazing athletes. So we are going to see you on the stage back 2020 for the Olympia. Yes, uh, it's just so exciting, you know. Like I said, you never know. Yeah. But, and I always said I don't believe in retire and come back after yes. retirement. Yeah. I said it, I remember it, but it's when you absolutely left the sport. Yeah. It's when you left the gym, yes, yeah. there is there is way to come back, but not that successful way to come back. So in my case, 
I have never left the gym, not even for one day. I've been working so hard. I improve my skills in acrobatic. I working on my body all this time. That's why I look good. And because I've been traveling, I see my fans, and of course, I want to inspire them, and I want to be inspired. Yeah. So because that's very important, you know, you can't inspire without inspi being inspired. That's right. So. And yes, now I'm ready to share my new skills and do something amazing on Olympia stage and perform. So I see no concern at all with you being on the level of conditioning and your training has been on point and you, it's been like you're ready to compete still. So nothing's changed, it's still been the same for you. And that's what I mean, that's what I was saying in the beginning. It's that level of athleticism but also dedication. Even if you're not competing or whether, but you still have that mentality and you kept that in the back of your mind, whether you're going to compete or not, you're always a top athlete. Yeah, I know so many athletes when they retire, they just stop working out. That's it. And I understand, I respect that decision because it's their own uh, life, their own reason for that. In my case, I stop and I go back to the gym and I've been working harder, you know, and I, uh, yeah, it's just, it's been, I don't know, maybe I had some instinct that something, <laughs> you know, something there. there. Yeah, you should keep work out. You should yeah. keep doing it. So, and now it's time to come back and yes, I'm excited. I love it. And I know... Um, are we wanting to get into any of the, your personal life? I know there were some beautiful things that happened over 2019. Can we talk about that for a little bit? Because uh, you had an absolutely beautiful wedding, and uh, you know you're a number one fan and supporter, an amazing, absolute amazing man. So congratulations, he's right there. We're talking about Boris, yes, of course. But congratulations on your wedding. Thank you so much. Yeah, so how is married life, and how is it different from before? Well. You know, if you love someone, definitely get married. <laughs> okay. Because it's somehow, it's not, nothing changed, but it's just, um, I don't know, it's different, you know. And this day, this is the day that any woman and man waiting for, because that's where you sincere saying each other that you're gonna be rest of your life with this person and you watching in his eyes for a long time and it's just some it's very special moment guys and uh, you should not skip it that's your proof of your love and that's proof of your destiny i mean that's the person you should stay front of each other and just just look at each other. It, it was an amazing day of my life. It was beautiful. I, I've seen you glow on stage and I've seen you glow everywhere you go, but there was a different glow that I saw in you on that day. And I wasn't there to see it in present, but I, I saw it from afar. And you know, I, I know that I'm just so happy for you and uh, congratulations. Thank you so much. And uh, obviously an amazing couple. I aspire to have that one day. I know that all brides usually are so nervous before the wedding, you know, because it's it's normal pr pr process. Yeah. And in this case, in my case, I was like, listen, I'm not going to worry about to make it perfect. No. It's going to be as it is. Yeah. And it was perfect. Nice. <laughs> you know, so, See, yeah. when you let it go and you don't right, try to right. squeeze it and control yes, it. Yes, and everything was smooth. Everything was beautiful. And even people, uh, random people around who saw the wedding, they were so sincere, happy for us. And... Uh, we have video and I still watching these people Aww. who was around because it was absolutely amazing. It was a really special it. day. Okay, I have one personal question. You don't have to answer if you don't want, but any plans of a family maybe in the future? Yes, we have. Big I'm not talking about any more. Uh, what, are the ch what do you have? Chinchilla. the Chinchillas? No more chinchillas. I mean like the fam. No real family, right? <laughs> yes, uh, we have planned for 2021. So, yeah. yes, and uh, yeah, we're going to start working on it after, after the show. <laughs> I love that. 
Amazing. Oh my gosh. Well, that is going to be an athlete of all time. That's all I can say, whether a boy or a girl. I am so proud of you, and I'm so honored to be your friend and just watch your journey. And, uh, you know, just the amount that you inspire people, you know, is just undeniable. So thank you again. Thank you for all that you do and uh, for your transparency. And uh, I know I don't need to wish you luck, but I'm going to send you all the blessings that I absolutely have for 2020 you. for you and your family and also for you back up on that stage. And I go to Olympia only to watch you. So I'm sorry, everybody else, but I am excited about this and I can already feel the energy on the stage, what it's going to be like when people get to see Oksana Krishina grace that stage in 2020. So you guys heard it here. We are about to see this woman take her fifth Olympia. I'm going to call it now. And then I can't wait to see what else is in the future thank for you. Thank you so much, everyone. I love you with all my heart. And thank you for your support. You've been amazing for me. Thank you. Miss Oksana Grishina, you heard it live. LA Fit Expo 2020, TLC Unleashed. We'll see you guys later.